namaste and welcome to yoga story daily dose of yoga today will be our last and final day of our chair yoga series and we're going to work on lengthening through the outer hip and glutes so as body allows placing ankle over thigh you can stay here if you already feel a pretty good stretch through that outer right hip and glute just feel free to rest soften the shoulders relax any tension through the face, breathe. If you do need a little bit more here, finding some length, taking that breath in, length through the spine, a lift through the crown of the head. And on your exhale, draw the chin, chest forward and down and hinging at the hips, folding until you get more of the stretch that you're looking for, more of that lengthening through that outer right hip and, and glute. Keep the shoulders back, crown of the head forward. We're keeping length through the neck. And you can stay here for quite a few breaths when you're ready, sending the chin chest forward and up, coming back up to that tall seat and then switch legs. So here we'll place left ankle over right thigh Finding ourselves nice and tall, lengthened here, but still soften through the shoulders. And again, if you need a little bit more through that left side, hinging at the hips, folding forward. You can also bring some back strengthening into this by a little bit more back strengthening by sweeping the arms back, lifting through the shoulders and drawing the shoulder blades toward each other. And if you do come to that place, you might reach the arms forward and up to come back up to that tall seat and then bring the hands to prayer and return the foot to the ground. Another option that you can um, come to for what is our half pigeon pose is from a standing position, placing here the right foot on the chair and then sending the right foot to the left, drop the knee to the right, bring the hands to the back of the chair and further drop the leg to the chair. You can stay there or shimmy here, the left foot back, just really sinking the hips forward and down to get that stretch through the outer left hip and glute. Hands can stay on the chair. You might place the arms over the chair. You can drop the forehead to the arms. And then again, as many breaths as you need there, coming back up shifting forward, pulling yourself forward, and then bringing that again to the other side. So left foot would come onto the chair, shift it to the right, drop the knee to the left. And then for that balance, bringing the hands to the back of the chair, shifting forward, lowering the shin all the way to the chair and shifting that right leg back as much as you need here to find that stretch. And again, that stretch here through the glute, through the outer hip. As many breaths as you need here. And when you're ready, lifting through chin and chest, pressing the shin to the chair, shifting forward and slowly bringing that knee back in and up and returning the foot to the ground. So that for now, we have many days ahead of us in this year, um, completes our chair yoga series. And we will see you back here tomorrow with a series on the hips and glutes. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Peace. Mm -hmm.